Hey everybody, so today we're going to be doing a speed test between the iPhone 3G and the iPhone 3GS. So this is the 3G on the left and the 3GS on the right. Now, the highest the iPhone 3G can upgrade to is iOS 4.2.1, and the highest that the 3GS can upgrade to is 6.1.6. .6. So those are the versions that these phones are on. So we're going to set these up. Um, we're going to have to connect this one to iTunes. Okay, so now I'm done setting them up, and let's go ahead and jump in. So both phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Location services is on on both. I did not sign in with an Apple ID on the 3GS, um, but I did enable diagnostics on there. And obviously they've both been freshly restored. So let's go ahead and get started with the speed test. First of all, let's open up Messages. So you'll see the iPhone 3GS is faster. Next is calendar. So you can see the 3GS was faster there. Um, the 3G, it just looks like it's loaded up, but you can't start actually using it till after the 3GS. Now we'll do photos, 3GS, and camera. Weather, notes, clock, calculator, voice memos, so the 3GS, you can see when that little needle goes down. And now we're going to do the web-based app, so iTunes Store. So that time it wasn't actually too far off. I think the 3G might have actually loaded faster. You can see this is still spinning up there. Um, it just doesn't display this top image properly. So yeah, 3G was actually faster there. Next is the App Store. So that time you can see the 3GS was faster, and we are still waiting on the 3G, and there it goes. So wait for that to finish spinning. So yeah, it takes significantly longer to load on the 3G, and you can see that these images still cannot be displayed properly. Now we'll do settings. Not too far off there, but the 3GS was faster. Phone. About the same, I think it was a little faster on the 3GS. Safari, 3GS by a little bit, and music slash iPod, 3GS. Finally, let's do stocks, 3GS, but 3G not far behind. Now, when you're using the 3G, you will notice a little bit of lag with the animations. I don't know if you can see that, but sometimes it's just a little stuttery submenus and things. And especially when you are closing out of the camera app, it is very laggy there, as you can see. Um, so now let's go to the spotlight search. About the same, but there is a little stutter on both. Um, there's no notification center on iOS 4. Now for just unlocking, exactly the same. So next we're going to do a boot up test. So let's first shut these two down. You can see which one powers off first. 3G powered off a little bit before the 3GS. 
So now let's power them on and we will get our stopwatch here. So pressing the power button in three, two, one. So you can see the Apple logo actually showed up faster on the 3G. So the 3GS starts up first. And then the 3G. So the 3GS took about 37 seconds to boot and then the 3G took about 50 seconds to boot. So significantly faster for the 3GS. So you can see that even though the iPhone 3GS's software is two versions ahead of the 3G, it still manages to be much faster. So that was just my little speed test comparison on the iPhone 3G iOS 4.2.1 and the iPhone 3GS iOS 6.1.6. .6. Again, this would be an interesting test to do on iOS 4 on both of them. But I hope you did enjoy this video, and if you did, be sure to leave a like, and peace.